Hello and welcome to For Those About To Rock. This is Aaron and I'm sitting down with Dead by April right after their show in Vienna. Hello, guys. Hello. Um, the last time we talked in 2014, um, uh, I visited your guys in Gothenburg, you two, Marcus and Pontus. And um, we talked about your favorite uh, shows, your favorite gigs. Um, you played a lot of shows new in numerous uh, venues since then. Um, did it change? Are your, your favorite countries and your favorite crowd still in Russia and in Finland, or did this change? I would say it's the same. Yeah, I mean, Russian fans are exceptional. I mean, they are. Yeah, it's the same. Mm. You, Jimmy? Yeah, Russian fans are crazy. They are really into it. And. Um, You guys played a concert in India. Uh, yeah. uh, I saw that. That, that was really funny. Any 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 crazy impressions of Indian people and in the country? Well, what wasn't an yeah. impre <laughs> crazy uh, impression? Uh, where do we start? I mean, uh, the, the, obviously we had to be go to the venue by car, uh, and that was an adventure in itself. Um, It was exciting to say the least. <laughs> yeah, I mean, the driver, the, the way they drive in India, you know, they, they just touch cars like that and yeah. uh, they honk the horn instead of using the, uh, what is it called? Steering yeah. wheel. No, the, the, bl uh, so the uh, blinkers. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> they ride on top of the roof of the cars <laughs> and, you know, it's total <laughs> hillbilly over there. <laughs> it's like motorcycles with three persons on it yeah. and the fourth one being a woman sitting on the side holding a child <laughs> like it's like nothing we've ever seen before they yeah. litter everywhere like it's super crappy and dirty yeah they piss everywhere <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and should there be a cow standing in the middle of the road you have to you have to stop yeah because they're holy aren't yeah, they yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, that, yeah, you have to respect that, and that's just the way it is. And uh, if the cow decides to lay down and sleep, we have to wait. <laughs> uh, I, everything is different. It's just, I mean, with that being said, the show was amazing. I would love to go back. I mean, it was amazing, but but different. So it was uh, also only for one show. Yeah. Yeah. It was a big show. Yeah. Uh, we 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 touched on that uh, uh, in the first interview. Any but but now we have four members here. Uh, any any new embarrassing tour mo moments, uh, embarrassing stuff that happened on stage. Yeah, we talked about th that you fall off the stage and you yeah. forgot the lyrics. And I I watched a video of it. It's it's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, but anything else? He's, he he fell off stage several times. <laughs> But that was a long time ago. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> But still. Um, uh, so, if it's not, nothing new, I think. Yesterday, somebody did a stage dive right into the floor. I, I thought that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> We were gonna start, what can I say? And he, he went like, well, you know, right on the floor. And I started laughing. I couldn't stop laughing for the whole <laughs> intro. I was laughing really hard. Oh, so that was funny. <laughs> the crowd was not ready for it. <laughs> yeah, um, like, and there was this little poor girl that got smashed. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> smashed. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Horrible. But yeah. Um, a, a couple of weeks ago, I went to a hockey game, uh, KAC uh, versus uh, Frölunda, if I pronounce it right, Frölunda Gothenburg. Oh, um, we no, no, in in Austria. Oh, it's okay. Champions League uh, okay. at the moment. And yeah, we fought like lions, but we lost, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you into ice hockey? Are you ice hockey fans? And what's your favorite club? Or did you do any team sport when you were young? Or I play hockey for 10 years. Um, uh, Position? Uh, back. Uh, and I, uh, my favorite team was Frölunda. <laughs> uh, we went to their games and, you know, we were really hardcore about hockey when I was young. Anyone else? I've been doing a lot of sports, um, tennis, ping pong, uh, taekwondo, uh, 
badminton, basket, everything. <laughs> I love. Uh, everything team team wise or in in in, in competition. Where they come sport playing skill? Uh, martial arts. arts. Martial arts. I love yeah. different martial arts and uh, a lot of different sports. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, Frolunda, in my opinion, the gas pedal was not even even halfway down, <laughs> and they beat us. So, <laughs> um, let's talk about the new record, uh, Worlds Collide. Um, you played a couple of songs uh, today. Also, my favorite one, I can uh, I can breathe. Oh, nice man! Really, really cool song. And um, yeah, you guys announced the album as early as 2015. 15, I guess, but it didn't come out uh, um, until uh, April this year. So, what what took you so long? What obstacles delayed the no, release? It's, it's always like that. If uh. you put up a deadline, <laughs> and it's it, it ne it's never gonna happen on the deadline. It's it's just like that. <laughs> I think every deadline for every album we had has been delayed. So, uh, and I don't know. We don't really analyze it that much. It's, okay. it's, it's more about <clears throat> uh, taking the time to make a great album. Uh, if that means it's going to be delayed, it it has to be delayed. Uh, yeah. Okay. And and sound wise, um, last time we talked about, or I I asked you if there were was any any difference sound wise between. Uh, I guess it was the first album, the self-titled and incomparable at that time. Mm -hmm. And what would you say? Um, does this also apply for the transition between uh, "Let the World Know" and "Worlds Collide"? Are they also sound-wise similar, or did any, anything change? I don't know. I, I don't analyze it that much. Uh, it, it, it would probably be a th typical thing that maybe fans do. I don't. I don't know, but. Um, Uh, on my part, it's the, the focus is more to do just great music, great songs, and uh, compile that to a great album. Um, if it sounds similar to any other album or any other band or whatever, um, it's up to the listener, basically, uh, I would say. Uh, okay, so, so so to speak, in in my opinion, uh, your your voice, of course, that you that you do the, the main vocals is one main difference, and also what I uh, especially liked was uh, the sound of your voice, this smoky, throaty, like hard rockish voice, if you if you like, and uh, but you didn't do that on the the, the first album, the self titled album, where you also did main vocals yeah. together with Jimmy. Well, um, um, yeah, we. Is that something you just came up with, uh, or like, especially for for example, I can breathe just just a little throaty, just a little harsh. I don't know because <clears throat> uh, when it was time for me to take on the vocals again, um, I hadn't been singing for a while, and I knew that that this is gonna be a great challenge, which which I like. I like challenges and. Um, I got into it really deep and just tried to um, evolve, let my voice evolve as much as it possibly could and I uh, tried to explore some, you know, new areas and t tried to learn about my voice uh, and that led to, to that little thing. <laughs> You're talking about this harsh, yeah. um, and I, uh, I just tried it out on, on a few, like on a few songs here and there, and it sounded nice. I, I, I liked it, and uh, as long as as long as it fits the song mm -hmm. in the right place, it, it, it should definitely be there. But uh, I tried it on many places where it doesn't, where mm -hmm. it didn't fit. So. Um, But yeah, that's that's kind of a, a new-ish factor, mm. like in in the whole vocals like area. So that's probably something that sound-wise you could say changed or evolved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, I really dig it. I, I I like it a lot. Nice man. Uh, 
for example in uh playing with fire yeah it's it's perfect at that spot it's perfect you, that's why I mean. uh, it, mm. it needs to be where it, it sounds perfect yeah uh. um let's talk about jimmy a bit jimmy's back as ob obviously we can see yeah. <laughs> and uh yeah something that many fans uh hoped for and uh, came true um you're back and how were your projects um after that by april and how did you came back in the end uh, i took it really easy uh quit music after the bakery i did some i did some recordings but uh i never took it ser seriously uh, i was kind of tired of music i didn't think that i could make it again so yeah and <laughs> i don't know how well you sent me an email yeah yeah, um, yeah. when was that last christmas mm. <laughs> and i didn't <laughs> answer it at first but um uh, i was just asking them uh, <laughs> yeah how, how they are, are and And yeah. then, and how we sound like, well, yeah. whatever. And, um, you know, I, I didn't think much about it and uh, because we didn't have any contacts those years at all. Oh. So, but two weeks went by and I thought, I'm just going to answer him and, you know, see how he is, what he what he's up to, what he's been up to, etc. And uh, from that, we just started talking more and eventually we met up uh, at my studio <coughs> and uh, we started working on some projects that i had in in, in my studio just totally aside uh, from the variable um and this was like pa um, uh, parallel to stuff of being in the band so it, it had it had nothing to do <laughs> with, with you know e each other um And when Stoffer decided to leave, which we do, still don't know why he chose to leave, we have no idea. We and it, it also had nothing to do with his uh, his illness, or that that's why he he had to you had to cancel part of the oh, yeah, last yeah, we tour, had to was it? Some yeah. stuff because mm. of that, but some we, really good stuff. Yeah, mm. but at the time we he had our full support for that. Mm -hmm. Whatever he needed to do, just you know, do it. We're here for you. And then it just came like you know out of out of nowhere. Uh, <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> and you know we hoped to do that we could do a press release explaining everything what happened and 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 uh, an official expla explanation from stuffy. But to this day we we don't have it and uh, it's just weird. It's just really weird. However. Um, Uh, since me and Jimmy had the, been uh, in contact again, it felt very natural to just, you know, and there's an opportunity here. And how does it feel to be back on stage with that by April? Amazing. Uh, w what did you miss the most? All the happy fans and uh, the touring. Uh, But that's yeah, the most yeah. exhausting part, isn't it? Yeah, it is. <laughs> But uh, at the same time, it's the best thing. Yeah. yeah to meet yeah. all the happy fans uh, that loves the music. Yeah, it's, it's it's the most chilly, but also the most the the, the best thing. Yeah. Touring. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we just had a fan in there um, explaining that her mother just passed away in cancer like a few months ago, and she really explain in detail how much our music had helped her uh, th through the grieving and I mean that's that's what it's all about that's what music is about connecting with people um, through music it's, it's, it's just amazing to to hear to listen to, the, to those stories and it, it humbles you mm. for sure yeah that's awesome hearing that um yeah we we won't talk uh, talk about haters um well, we could do that <laughs> uh, no no uh, uh, but but something i 
it came to my mind when I read some reviews is that they they most of them missed the point. Um, it's always whether the the mixture of uh, pop and metal is good or bad or whatever it is, uh, but they 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 don't think about what what's what's special in that by April, and I thought to myself, well, what do I like in that by April? And for me, it is dynamics. It does it, it, you have really harsh thriving parts, but you're also really melodic and 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 catchy at the same time, and. Um, the transitions between these these parts are quite often or most of the time made by by synthesizer production. In my opinion, it's it, they, they, you have at one time you have up to I don't know three layers or four layers of synthesizers that merge together, and that's probably something nobody really notices. But can you shed some light on your synthesizer production? Uh, how, oh, how you, absolutely. Uh, we, the best example on on the new album is probably playing with fire and that whole uh, build up parts in the middle I think it's like 40 synths or something <laughs> <laughs> like on top of each other and they change after four beats and it's like uh, I went all in there <laughs> and I have like drum samples and stuff it's just crazy and, uh, but yeah some of them those gems are here and there you know but you're probably right. It's not yeah. something you think about um, yeah. at first. Maybe after ten or twenty to listen to it in like twenty times, and maybe you start no noticing that. I don't know. Yeah, it it, it it's really interesting, and and it, but you have as as you said, you have to dive into the music. Yeah. Um, a, a couple of questions just to the to the to the scene in Sweden. Um, in my opinion, probably Scandinavia is more f f a more fertile ground for um, metalcore and uh, modern metal. And in not huh? yeah. in Austria, it it is and will always be underground. Like like we never get played in the charts. Um, you made top ten in in Sweden, like radio charts. Oh, you and mean, like, yeah, okay, okay. metal never gets played in Austria in, in the charts. We have like Austropop and that washed down copy of a copy of, of American songs, but that's about it. Yeah. Um, so you won't agree to, you wouldn't agree to, to yeah. that. The, like, I mean, we have the most metal bands in the world per capita, but uh, I mean, nobody goes to shows in the same way anymore. And I mean, uh, it's just overall low support for the genre. So are they, are they fed up too many too many concerts, too many bands or I, I, I guess it's been us like music has been a saturated market for mm. a long time. And it's hard to stand out, you know. It's even harder now with, you know, social media, you know, million bands want, wanting to, you know, make it so it's mm. hard to, you know, uh, decide what band to listen to, maybe. I don't know. But um, yeah, definitely there's like, uh, you know, genres come and go, but right now it's uh, in Twitter at least, like house and mm -hmm. R&B and that kind of stuff. But, but electronic sounds is something that you have in your music, so yeah. But you guys are popular in Sweden, so you don't have that problem. What? Uh, but you guys are already popular in Sweden, so you don't have the problem yeah I still we, we don't play very much in sweden oh. like we we play more outside of the country we still charted though uh, mm. if if that's what the, the yeah. question like, oh. yeah we climb on the charts and it's uh, like commercial in that way in comparison mm. to here obviously mm. then, which they will not play it at all mm. as he said yeah I don't, that, that's that's a little bit sad mm. i think yeah yeah, it, it, it's a problem. Probably it will change sometime. Uh, last time we talked about, in, in the funny part of the, the interview, you, you, we talked about uh, what band member you'd rather be. And you both said, well, Marcus, Marcus Westland, because <laughs> he lives in his own world and he's the, <laughs> he's the cleanest guy, but he's not here today. Yeah, so yeah. so uh, did that change or, or? We had to choose one, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Jimmy, who would you rather be if you weren't you? Yeah, Marcus. Uh, <laughs> also. <laughs> so calm and uh, he has no problems. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we we could say that he's showering, so that's why he isn't here today. But that's not true. So. <laughs> yeah. uh, he's, he's joining us on, on after half the tour. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. In in London, uh, Marcus yeah, yeah. said, yeah. yeah. Um. I'm a little stubborn on this one, I know, and I, I, we had that question uh, also in 2014. Um, five things you know about Austria. I, I have to be a little stubborn on this one because last, last time the, the, the answers were a little vague, let's say. <laughs> um, it's let's do five together. Oh. It's beautiful. Oh, it's hard. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. No, most, 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 most of us live here. Yeah, yeah. Go. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Your turn. Yeah. I don't know why, but I would say cheese. Cheese, yeah, yeah. Austrian cheese. Yeah, it, it, it's good. That's your answer. Do, yeah. <laughs> Just, I don't know. Just they make know. splendid cheese. That's what <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You could say the, the Klangfarbe, also one. Uh, what? The, the Klangfarbe. Klangfarbe, the, the, the music store you went to. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's mm. cool. Yeah. That was cool. Mm. Uh, yeah. The, the gasoline or Ga gas. Gasometer, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, mm. it's a right over very, there. very, very beautiful country. Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Next time, I'm going to ask the question again, so do your homework. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Um, yeah, well. Uh, if you could bring another uh, another funny one, probably if you could bring back one musician, uh, dead. Uh, Michael Jackson is a no pick oh, on yeah, this yeah, one. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, if you could bring back one musician, who would that be? Hmm. Oh. Or artist. Just yeah, to, be more, to be more. To be more. Chris Cornell. Maybe. I was a Chester Bennington. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It's too many. So, and be, be, besides my Chekhov? Chester Bennington was nice. I mean, we, uh, we also did a, a cover of Nam uh, in their name and his name yeah. to honor to honor them. Uh, it's very sad. They heard the, the snippet. Um, I have to check it out when it's released. Um, yeah, I, I wanted to play a little game. Mm -hmm. um, describe each other with three words. Can be funny. Uh, three words. Or, or or pick one so we can do, so everyone can can do everyone. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. Okay. Yeah. But. <laughs> no, 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 someone else. So so yeah, someone else. So oh, so the else. others, right. the others, yeah. Let's start with Marcus because he's sitting right next to you. <laughs> Be nice. I can say. <laughs> One of the best drummers in Sweden. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> and I suppose to say one about him as well. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, smelly farts. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Anything to add? Oh, I don't know. Uh, I know one more. Yeah. He can eat yeah, like more a, than like a bear. He can eat <laughs> like I can eat a beer. Five times <laughs> more than me. <laughs> Okay, and uh, Pontus? Uh, smelly farts. <laughs> <laughs> you have a fart thing there going. Especially in the tour bus, yeah. Oh yeah. my god, this morning. <laughs> he's, uh, yeah. he's one of the best songwriters in the world. Oh, Jimmy, I think. How are you? So nice. Yeah. <laughs> but I think so. <laughs> Thank you. Sugar. Okay, Jimmy? Should well, we do obviously one of the best, the, screamers. The best screamers in the world? <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, best screamer. Thank you. And an and, 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 and adjective, probably. Yeah. Yeah, like. He's very kind. Kind. Okay. Yeah. Oh, Good heart. That was nice. That's Melly Farks. <laughs> <laughs> well. Um, um, I, I, I did it already last one, but uh, last uh, interview, but I want to conclude with the same question. Your main advice for young musicians, uprising bands, 
Um, Pontus, you said uh, to follow your passion. Marcus said to work hard on your music, on your instrument. Yeah. Other than that, probably, and your opinion also, main advice. Take it easy. Don't go crazy and do stupid things. So you will yeah, maybe yeah. last longer. Take it, yeah, <laughs> exactly. Take it easy. Entrepreneurship. Ah. Yeah, it needs to need some drive and entrepreneurship and just ideas and just how to move forward. Yeah, you mean also the 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 the, the, Is it hard the marketing one? thing or? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Uh, Especially today, we talk about it a lot actually. How we <laughs> built the brand mm. when when MySpace was around and. Because today it's it's really hard. I mean, you, you it, today you, you basically have to have a lot of money to to even be seen mm. on on social media and stuff. Which is it wasn't like that and went on uh, during the MySpace era. Um, then it was simply based on good music. I mean, we just put our songs up and communicated with with people and fans, and we did that. Probably every hour we stayed away yeah. <laughs> during the days and yeah. like week after week it was just crazy. That that's that's how passionate we were for Dead by April. And if you can again combine that passion with hard work, entrepreneurship, you 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 can go far. Definitely. Yeah, it's it it's it's become harder yeah you're right oh, yeah. because um, um, not also the scene and other bands and other musicians but also uh, fans expect you to release like uh, a video that 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 looks like it cost 10 grand yeah but yeah. you don't have 10 grand so <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and also the demand for new stuff like, yeah. uh, you release an album and and a month later, like, I need something new. <laughs> like, the demand is higher than ever. Like, it's, again, it's hard work and more, it tends to go away from the traditional album, if we, if we put it that way. Uh, yeah, better five EPs than one yeah, uh, LP. More yeah, more and more mm. release. Uh, less songs but more often in order to supply that demand hmm. uh, is it also a concept you you think about or uh, it's too early to say I guess uh, as we pretty much recently released hmm. World School Light although um, we did that cover and uh, the numb cover and we also have a few acoustic versions coming up soon and obviously we did the two instrumental sessions as well um, so there are which are uh, up on Spotify yeah. already yeah so th that's that's new content uh, even though it's not new yeah. uh, and so so we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens okay any last thoughts you want to share with the fans you're amazing as always, we love you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good, good, good conclusion, I guess. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you.